Welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds among light heavyweights. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. El Terrible's making his way down to the ring, and he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in, and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. He's making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Nice block. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by El Terrible. Uppercut. Uppercut. Halfway through this round. Good exchange. He fires back. In right hand out. over the In top. Very accurate out. with it. Nothing there on the punch by El Terrible. Body shot, body shot. He comes with the straight right hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. <sighs> Final 10 seconds of round number one. Good right hand. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Let it go! Keep working the bottom. Right to the belt line. Keep it going! El Terrible's gonna feel the, the effect hook. of that hook to the body. Yeah! 
And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. A well-targeted jab that time. Didn't get it done going to the body there. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. I don't know what to say. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart, keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? And round number three is underway. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Work toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Blocks the headshot. El Terrible's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Taking away a body shot with the right hand. And he just holds on there. Good job, buddy. There you go. Big uppercut right on the mark. And now he's targeting upstairs. And right from the start, He's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. El Terrible is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. And clicks of the top. That hook was well off the mark. And that's the end of round three. Just let it go, right? You're taking a beat. Come on. What's going on? You're looking good. Keep that up. Keep those hands moving. All right, let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see that he's up by just a round. But I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point.
His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Uppercut. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Not in good shape, and yet another big shot comes in. It was in his scope, and he pulled the trigger with that straight shot, scoring the knockdown. And he had a beautiful sight there. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but. If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's right, hugging. Left and right. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And now looking to hang on. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will put us in position. Two jabs, two jabs. And every time you throw that jab, I want to see you land that overhand, all right? Don't there go you know. straight in. Give him a little faint first. Now listen, the best defense is to throw punch in. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Halfway into round number five here. Job, Looking good. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercuts. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Watch that! There's a straight right hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. This is it. You heard it. Keep warning. Listen to me. You're getting caught up. 
You're getting caught up in fighting his fight. Focus for me. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Double up on your punches. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Come on, side to side. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. El Terrible is putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Nice work, nice work! Halfway through round six. Comes right back with some offense of his own. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Head and body. Head and body. Just like that. Now hugging on the inside. Nice job there, hooking to the body. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Keep moving. Keep Final moving. 10 seconds of the sixth round. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes out strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was, and whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. Protect yourself! Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? A headshot blocked. El Terrible is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You, you know, like also, that, it's the like teachers. That. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Halfway through the seventh round. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Seconds to go in this round. Keep pushing. And round seven comes to an end. Got it more than one punch. Look at me. 
be doing well, but I need to see the combinations. I need to see the strengths. Let's hurt this guy. He can't take a punch. You okay? Don't worry. You're doing fine. I need you to move your head more side to side. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, and no. we'll throw that away. Round number eight in front of us here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard. You can see that he's trailing here. I mean, my big criticism all night long is that his work rate just hasn't been enough. But his opponent hasn't dazzled. You do you do. No, not at all. And that's why he's winning, because his opponent is doing just enough to lose. You got this one! Not getting it done with that straight right hand. An accurate left by El Terrible. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Not much action as he just ties up. The halfway point of round number eight. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. Uppercut, okay? Finish with the uppercut to the head. Watch the water in the corner. You need to move your head more, okay? Sight to sight. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. A nice block by El Terrible. Come on, cover up! El Terrible's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shot. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little.
chance. Last 10 seconds of round nine. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. He needs to shorten them up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. And now they start round number 10. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. And he's holding. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punch. Finish with a hook. Keep working the body. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. See him holding on. Good shot to the head with that right hand. And he ties up on the inside. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. El Terrible's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. And round 10 comes to an end. Look, he's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see that double jab. Double jab right, okay? Don't worry about it. Get Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. I'm sure as a trainer, when you get in a spot like this, there's extra emphasis of letting your charge know just what he's capable of pulling off. I look at your scorecard, he's only trailing by a very small margin here in round number 11. Well, the key right now as a trainer, and you just touched on it, you have to remind your charge, your fighter, of why he's doing it. Things that he understood when it was nice and calm, when everything was very understandable, when he told you in the gym, hey, I want to be champion. You got to remind him of that and say, okay, here's your chance. Here's your moment. El Terrible is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. So far tonight, he was being completely outworked, but now we see him being more the aggressor. Oh, was starting to get a little late. He understood he needed to change things a little. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Solid right hand by El Terrible. Digging in with a left to the gut. 
Well played, straight right hand. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. Deep breath, stay with me. You have to do more to win this fight. Good. Nice work, listen. I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Body, then hand. Let's finish. Oh, it's been a good one tonight, but one more round to go. Here it is, the final go round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Nice! I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe to toe. It's another thing to never even move. You gotta show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, nice if he nice falls work. down, everybody in the world's gonna know that he let himself fall down, he gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. Good, solid right hand he lands there. He missed with that headshot. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Let's see some more head movement. Competitive throughout. Who got it? To find out, we send it up to the ring. to reblaze your winner by a unanimous decision and that was a surprise right there coming into this fight we thought we'd see maybe a knockout but no we wound up getting a strategic fight for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore that does it ringside we'll see you next time at the fights